Okay, remember when we're solving inequalities or equations, if there's numbers that are on the side of the inequality or equation with the variable, we want to move it away. So we end up in the first one is 5x is less than 20. We're going to divide by 5, and we get x is less than 4. The inequality on the right, I'm going to do a similar action by moving that 3 first. We're combining like terms across the inequality symbol. We get negative 4x is greater than 11 minus 3 would be 8. I'm going to have to divide by a negative. What does that mean? And some of you still had questions about why. We'll, <coughs> we'll address that in just a minute. X is not greater than now. It's less than negative 2. Okay? And let's just pause real quick and address why an inequality symbol flips. If I have 6 is greater than... 3. Is that a true statement? What if I have to multiply this whole inequality by negative 1? This would become negative 6 and this would become negative 3. What would happen to the symbol? Why? Negative 6 is now going to be less than negative 3. So what just happened there is what's happening every single time we add or multiply or divide by a negative it's changing where these things are on the number line. Okay? Saw that as a question on your um, reflection last week. Okay, so let's go to example, to, oops, I didn't graph these, did I? Okay, this is gonna be x is less than four, so I just wanna put four, three, two. Circle it and it goes to the left. This one is x is less than negative 2. Why am I rewriting it? I need to graph it. So we have negative 2, negative 3. I'm just going to stop there, and it goes to the left as well. So we're going to do the same thing down here. And we're going to find out how this looks on a graph when it's a compound inequality. We don't need to redo the work. If you notice, these are exact same inequalities. We have 5x minus 7 is less than 13, or negative 4x plus 3 is great, uh, greater than 11. And we end up with the same answers. This one is going to be x is less than 4, or this one is going to be x is less than negative 2. And we already know what the graphs look like up here. This is an interesting one because when we graph the 4, they're going to combine into one long line, right? I probably didn't make the <coughs> graph big enough because I want to get them both on there. Okay, I'm going to circle both of them. And when I do the graph for the 4, it's going to go all the way through the two, negative 2 and keep going. And it basically includes the other line. So for both of these inequalities, we're seeing it go to the left. For this inequality, its answers start here. But for this inequality, they start here. Since they're compound, it includes everything less than 4. Okay, I'd like you to try it number 2 on your paper. You may talk with your neighbors and see how it looks. 